How are you making it? Uh, so through the key fob. Right now we have the, you can put it on either uh, walking up and the door handles will present themselves or through the key fob. Okay. It's, it's actually on. You can actually leave it on. You can leave it on. Should be able to see. All right. Let me just take my jacket off. It was Ed and then uh, your... Allie. 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 Sorry, Allie, but can you stick that somewhere? Yeah. 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 There's the plenty of room back here. Okay, all right. Damn. Actually, what's nice, Allie, is that there's no engine, right? So there's a trunk in the front. So you could use... Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. This screen. Look at that. Look at that. My TV. Well, can, the seat yeah. controls are on your left side there and there. On, yeah, right. on the seat, okay. Yep. I don't know who's sitting in this car, but they're probably five foot three. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, I get a little more comfortable. You can't zoom in that with Allie, but you can get, obviously, with that wide-angle lens, you can, you can, you know, put it up here if you have to. And the steering wheel oh can God, adjust as well awesome. if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually think this is pretty good. All right. Mirrors are all right, both ones. Let me see here. Is that controlled from here? Yeah, just right in the left-hand right. side. It's a nice day, so we'll probably be able to get, use the roof a little today. All right. So, Ed, the only thing we need to do to engage the car or turn it on is, is hit the brake. Okay. And that will put the speedometer up here. Okay. That you can see park, reverse, neutral, drive. Wait, so once, if I just get in the car w with my kids, whatever else, I have my key fab in, I just get in and touch the brake, that's Ex it. Exactly. Think of like okay. a push start button. Okay. You just hit the brake. Okay. Uh, and then, um, and that's it. It's got a very loud engine, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you want me to put it in? Are we, are so we down for drive, yeah. Right. And uh, well, that's, I was ready to like pull it, but it's really, I was going to break the thing off the... Uh, Driver's door open. All right, we are we're good to go. All right. Oh, that's cool. The handles just pulled in. Yes. And we're gonna follow this all the way around to the left. Okay. And and shoot out the right where we came in. So. That steering wheel is really tight too. It's nice. That's actually something you can you can adjust. There's different levels of, of comfort. You're on the sportiest setting right now. Maybe if you just got out of the gym and you want to, you know, loosen it up. <laughs> want to work can, out a little? <laughs> you can go to Comfort or, or keep it on Sport. So have you driven an electric car before? I, I mean, I own a Volt. Okay. So, so the Volt yeah. has some similarities. I think you're probably going to feel that regenerative braking okay. uh, kick in, which is going to slow you down. Right. So right, as a matter of fact, speaking of that, it's always in regen or I have the op. I, I know in my car I can either put it in like a, a regen where as soon as I let off the brake it starts regen or it'll just on the it'll just keep going it's not, I guess the regen is not as strong do you yeah, have that option the same option you can lower it okay. uh, so the car will coast more right which I think is good on the highway um, or uh, driving like this you can keep it on standard okay am I going left here we're gonna go right here right. we're gonna do a kind of a big square all right Make sure right turns yeah I actually on local driving I always leave the regen on and then when I'm on the highway I'll take it off so feel free to just hit it. Wow. Yeah, that's got some heft. <laughs> there might be one wow. difference between this and the boat. <laughs> and you got four people in it too. <laughs> wow. I, I was pushed back in the seat. And you can you can do that at any speed. Even if, if we hit it now, you know, you, even if at 50 or 60, you still right. get that same acceleration. I keep expecting that it will shift. <laughs> no, I just get that all day long. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Just one speed and that's it. All right, and now I'm looking at the dash here. So I want to keep it in the green, like on the bolt, I obviously keep that circle up and down. How am I doing this with? Well, any time that you are decelerating, it's going to show green. That means okay. energy going back to the battery, yep. right? We're going to take a right at the light up here. The orange is, is energy used, kilowatt per mile. Oh, yeah. And so you, similar to how you've been um, sort of becoming more, I guess, knowledgeable of the bolt, in terms of energy efficiencies, so your, your train signal is one lower, and that's why that's your cruise control. Oh. I think that's what you're looking for. Ah, uh, yes, cruise control. That's, that's so it's just one lower, and then you get the train signal right there. Yes. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, I was I was driving the wrong. Now, it's anyone not coming from Mercedes, <laughs> <laughs> including myself. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I was just just saying you you're probably pretty familiar with how your Volt drives in terms of how many right. miles you can get. You become just as knowledgeable. There's an energy reader here that folks like yourself would probably love to play around with and figure out exactly how many miles you can get out of uh, out of different driving. What size battery does this have in it? 85 kilowatt hours. Okay, so, so this is the, the biggest this is battery, the big one, right? And it's also the performance version. Okay. 
So it's got some extra kick to it. Yeah, that's my biggest reason. I, first of all, I have no issues with the Volt whatsoever, but I want to go to 100% uh, battery. Mm -hmm. And Do you drive beyond the Volt's electric range? I do, but what's the bigger... First, I take it back. I don't typically, but the temperature uh, fluctuations of distance are, are really a lot bigger than most people really, than anyone advertises or, you know, I'm getting less than 20 miles. I th and I'll tell you why, actually. I refuse to freeze in the car. I'm not going to... I'm not going to drive around in, in six blankets and, and three hats so I can be so I can get an extra mile or two. So I, if it's cold, I put the heat on. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I most of the time, unless I'm leaving the area, I don't go past my battery usage. But in the winter, if I got to go somewhere, you know, 30, 40 miles in the day, my battery is probably at 18 if it's you know 20 degrees outside and I have the heat as the heated seats going on. Mm -hmm. Plus, I mean, the truth be said, obviously this is a lot bigger. It's you know I can fit more people in it. Well, you certainly don't have to worry about putting the, uh, the climate control down and going to the speed limit with this car. You can have <laughs> as much fun as you want and get home without and using any gas. This is just amazing, too, that, that, that big screen. Can you get a good shot of that, Allie? Am I going right yeah, or left we'll go here? right here. So there, uh, you have a full screen navigation. It'll take a second to load. Um, you can customize the screen to, for a split screen, toggle it up and down. You have the the internet here with a keyboard. Oh, part, so I can drive and go on, on the yeah. on YouTube your emails, at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, your media players, anything that you would, you know, any sort of application that you would want to have in the car is, is Am is I going right or left here? Right here. Just came behind. Okay, no problem. Oh, wow, it's got a backup? Hey, you can yep. leave that on while you're driving. Yep. That's pretty cool. That, that's really So neat. is this uh, top of the line? Place to hit it. Yeah, so this car has pretty much every option. Say bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good. Your sunroof driving controls. What's cool is as you get used to all of that, you can actually control pretty much everything on that screen through your steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So you don't really know, never really even have to look over at the screen. You're gonna have full access right through the instrument cluster. Can you go to uh, the radio and so forth and see it as far as? Sure. Idea. Let's see. Does this have a hard drive on it as far as downloading like my uh, yes, iPod or right here? Yeah, we had a blast driving this car down yesterday. <laughs> we were singing all our music, using the tune in. Yeah. 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 This is volume uh, 7. It goes up to volume 11. Just in case you want your neighborhood to know what you're <laughs> listening to. I'm getting reception out here. And you can hook up your, your iPhone. And so you can stream your, uh, your Pandora music. I think my, uh, my iPhone might be hooked up. So this has, app, it has apps on it just like, uh, like an iPhone or whatever. Or yep. whatever. Uh, in a sense, yeah. You, it, well, anything that you can do in your iPhone, you can play through. Here, so if you have a uh, an iTunes playlist or a, or a Pandora app, that you can you can hook it up here. Getting okay, great. Uh, and um, and so that's usually what I do, and it will automatically sync to your phone as soon as you get in the car. Right. So you don't have Bluetooth. to. Bluetooth. You don't have to. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to fiddle with, with too many things here. It's really easy to sync up. You can sync multiple phones. So I go with family members. Yep, we're going to take uh, back to the, the high end. Which is... All right, just go to Alexander. Yes. That's right. No, I've never, I mean, I've used the end. All right, so I just push up, right? So I, how do I put in park? I park, park. You, you push it in. Okay. Um, now, if I wanted to shut, I just, it, the car went on just by coming in here and pushing the brake, how would I shut it off? From the controls, it, it turns off anytime someone exits the car. Or you can turn off the car from the interface here. Okay. And that disengages the car. You can just put the screen back on so you can use climate control. But you'll notice that the car says car off there. Okay. Suppose I want it, my kids are in the car and I run inside or I want to keep it run, warm or something like that. Can I leave it on? Or if I walk away, does it shut off regardless? No, you can you can do that. You can so when you get out of the seat, they won't be able to put the car in drive, which I think is a good thing. Right. <laughs> yes, I would agree. Um, but they can certainly still keep the heating controls on. Now, if anytime someone's not in the driver's seat, it won't let you 
put the car in gear. Can, can they jump in the driver's seat and it, put well, then it in you the should gear? Take the, he'll take the key fob with him too. Yeah. Uh, right. So without the key fob, even they, if they sit on the seat, they won't be able to drive away. Exactly, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah they can still keep, keep warm. Um, I'll show you the sunroof real quick. How long have you had the boat? Uh, two years. You want me to film you in, in the car? <laughs> nah, that's okay. I appreciate it, though. Go ahead, keep talking so you have the sunroof. Well, this is the sunroof control. Again, you can do this stuff like Marie was saying from the steering wheel. So here, I'll show you something. You can hit this button and hit customize. Then you can see how we can customize this scroll to close the sunroof. The roller bar, yeah, you have a roller bar right here. And then when, um, we can adjust uh, display brightness or fan speed all from here. Uh, you can also customize what the background should do. So we can change this to media. And then here's something that's cool. If you do a uh, navigation search like, like Princeton, and then you, uh, so this is the, the Google Maps interface, but we also have the ability to put a, a Garmin system in the dashboard there. Okay. And so anytime that this, when anytime that you punch in a, a destination in here, it will bring up the aerial, aerial view here, and it will bring up a turn-by-turn in just a few seconds, right there. And that will give you a nice turn-by-turn display. Now turn, turn display. light onto Carnegie Center Drive. With voice commands. Get the light on. And then you can either keep this up as well, or the passenger can go on the on the internet and go back to what they were doing, or, or play around with the music. Cool. And here's something cool I just remembered. The because it's a touch screen, you you know how you were just talking about software updates. Uh, they download automatically through the 3G network and we will continually continue to improve the applications and features and controls right. uh, to enhance your, your experience and, and its usability. And it will tell you exactly what the new features are. So my favorite feature is actually really simple. It's the alphabetical index, which you know, I have a ton of music, and I, it's not easy to scroll from A to Z. Right, right. Uh, so they just updated the alphabetical index, which is okay. one simple. It's like an, like an iPhone. Option. And that's something that, you know, if another car company might not have been able to do um, had they not designed the firmware to be updated um, and you get these updates I think we just had another software update which, with new features so you, you get them about every one one and a half months right and that's great because technology updates really fast right these days. no that's I mean that's what's great about this like you said is that anytime either something's good or bad with with input of the drivers if there's an issue you can either correct them or make it better or mm -hmm. fix it something you didn't think of or whatever here's another on the on similar lines, this creep feature right here. I'll show you. So if we turn creep off and you turn on the car with your hitting the brake, let's put it in drive. Now I'll take off your foot from the brake. Okay. So creep off means that the car is just going to sit here. It's not going to creep forward. Right. And this was not on the original cars. This was something that the owners had asked for. And so actually, let's put um put your foot back on the brake. Let's put it in park. And let's put creep uh, on. So uh, one more time. Sorry. Sorry. Right. We'll put it back in drive. Now the car is going to creep forward. Okay. So that simulates what a combustion car is. Right, right. Like. So if you had a light and you just want to move up, or you're in traffic or something like that. Exactly. How about as far as a hill on either an either option, if it's on or off, if I'm up a hit on a hill and I let off, it's up, it's not going to let the car roll backwards. It will roll back with creep off. It will roll back. Mm -hmm. It's like okay. being in neutral. Okay. And uh, creep on will. So that's one of the advantages of, of creep. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think our, our owners wanted a more authentic electric car experience. Right. They didn't want to feel like we were simulating their old cars. Right. They wanted to go, um, you know, all the way to, to an electric experience. All right. And so where's my battery? How do I know my battery life is here? So we have 231 miles. All right. And we've used... Well, we, uh, a full charge would be um, uh, about 300 miles. Okay. And so we have uh, we have a number of drives today, and we assume that they're all going to drive like you right. do. Right. Plus everyone, right? Everyone's slamming on the right. <laughs> Which is yeah. what we want them to do. So Understood. This will be a, a good test of, of our range. Oh, there's the, that's the. Uh, no, yes, yeah, the charger. So it's hidden right here. Right. Which is kind of nice. And when you when you charge up the car and lock, lock the car, it locks to the. And that's the J17 plug, right? If I have a regular level two charger, it'll plug well, into that. This can can use a J1772. Okay. Um, but there's a special, a unique Tesla 
plug that goes in here. If you pull up to a J1772, you can put an adapter. Okay. This adapter on the end okay, of the so J1772. Okay, so that's what I would need, right, exactly. Um, otherwise, this can be taken off as well. Right. And you can put a 240 volt outlet on here. So the, right. the unique thing about Tesla is, is that the charging station is inside the vehicle. So you can pull this car and charge it to any outlet. You can also use the existing J1772 okay. infrastructure. So I think your vault, uh, you need to build a charging station in your garage. Right, right, uh, right. So this has this a charging has it station. It. It's built in. Right. This it will have a 20 kilowatt charging capacity, uh, or you can get just 10 kilowatts of charging capacity. So you have the key. Mask on it. Yep. Hey, armor. You can see it. it. stands a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yep. There's your engine. Yeah. It's beauty. Big engine. So you have your windshield wiper fluid. Uh, boron steel beams for, for the safety. Yeah, what's nice is too, for if you're ever in a head-on collision, that you have all this space for the car to crush. You don't have an engine that's going to push through the firewall. You do. We, our engineers have a lot more freedom to design a safe uh, trunk design. The boron steel beams are pulled like the energy. Sun's laying havoc to this camera. Here, push the key, push the key fab again and show how that opens up.